Let me just get one little thing straight here before we even get started in this video. When it comes to iconic motor vehicles over the last 50 years, there are a few that even come close to competing with Ford Motor Company. I mean, sure, General Motors had some solid wins with their diesel pickups like the LBZ, not that I would know, or Dodge definitely had some notable mentions with like the Little Red Express or the Power Wagon, for example. But when it comes to overall just having a ton of hype around all of their models, there are a few who have done what Ford has. I think every millennial has a memory of some sort buried way back deep about an OBS Ford stored way down in the memory bank. Be that from like a friend or a family member, or perhaps you even had one yourself. For me, it was being 16, riding in my buddy's regular cab short box F-150 on a four inch zone lift kit and 33 inch Super Swamper IROX. Now listen, I swear to God, it's the only truck I've ever been in that actually lost speed going downhill with the wind at your back. It was wild. But the good old Ford Motor Company has been shaking things up in recent years by reviving a dear long lost friend. I'm Dusty with the Custom Offsets. You guys can follow me on Instagram at dusty.co. And today we are diving into perhaps the most iconic off-road SUV of all time ever to have a quick little chat about how you may want a Ford Bronco. Now I know that I made some very bold claims there, but the fact still remains that when it comes to off-road capable vehicles from the factory, the Bronco has always been Ford's flagship model. Long before the F-150 Raptor was even a twinkle in Mama Ford's eye, the Bronco was out there slaying the dirt trails and bouncing off the rocks from the factory. Originally launched in the 1960s, the Bronco existed to be a much more versatile vehicle in comparison to the other 4x4s at the time, which included things like the Jeep CJs and the International Scouts. Over the years, the Bronco would undergo several transformations and evolve from a small, nimble little four-wheel drive into a full size SUV. But as we always say, it wasn't all rainbows and unicorns on this one, right? By 1996, Ford had decided to nix this SUV as the four-door truck market was basically taking over. Now, I don't know about you, but the 1994 OJ Simpson chase probably didn't help this matter either. I mean, well, it's not written in red anywhere. You can't tell me that having the entire nation watch on television while a celebrity ran from the police in your flagship SUV is great for sales. I mean, then again, I guess even bad publicity is still publicity as it's still got us talking about the Bronco 25 years later. So who really knows? The choice is yours, but either way, the fact still remains that by 1996, the Bronco was no longer, or was it? A lot can change in 25 years. I mean, for starters, you no longer need to be at home to take a phone call, so, you know, that's pretty neat. CD players are all but extinct by now, and most of us have at least one computer in our lives, or multiples, if you're like me. For this reason, when Ford decided to bring the old Bronco back, they knew they had to come out swinging, much like Mike Tyson, and come out swinging they did. The 2021 Ford Bronco was released on July 30th, 2020, and with it came a whole new host of features, right? From slick retro styling to a ton of trim packages and options to fit literally every budget and lifestyle, impressive new features and updates both inside and out, and of course, a pedigree of off-road capabilities, the new Bronco created a ton of hype in the market. It shook folks up everywhere, and folks everywhere flocked to their local Ford dealers to get in on the action by placing pre-orders and securing their build slots. The fun, however, stops there. Now, in no way are we putting blame on Ford Motor Company here, right? We all know that 2020, it's been a hell of a year, but the new Bronco definitely fell short of consumer expectations. Plagued by supply chain shortages on all sorts of things, from microchips and semiconductors to roof parts and weather seals, Ford has been battling to get the new Broncos out the door and into the hands of consumers worldwide. This, paired with an otherwise struggling supply of new vehicles, has led the Bronco to be a highly desired, highly coveted, and highly overpriced new SUV. I mean, at least we can get the Bronco Sport, right? 
But don't throw in the towel just yet. Despite all of the production struggles and overpriced dealer markups, Ford has yet again found a way to somehow seemingly keep people coming back for more. This time, Ford played into the hands and the hearts of those of us who like a little bit more pep in their step, right? On September 21st of this year, Ford launched a short video clip that created yet another wave in the truck industry. Dubbed simply Bronco, meet Raptor, it showcased a bigger, badder, and better Bronco than we had ever seen before. Dubbed the Bronco Raptor, this new Bronco featured a ton of new styling, a wider stance, bigger tires, and a more powerful engine. Now furthermore, word on the street is that Ford actually goofed a little while ago when they leaked their new Bronco Raptor specs in their ordering system. This leak claims that the new Bronco Raptor will have a few different exterior options, like factory available 37 inch tires, for example, wider over fenders, and a convenience package that would have leather seats, leather heated steering wheels, and the likes like that. On top of that, rumor has it that this new Bronco Raptor will have a 3.0 liter EcoBoost V6 that should make somewhere in the neighborhood of roughly 350 to 375 horsepower, putting the Bronco Raptor right in the same playing field as the one and only Wrangler Rubicon 392. With all that being said though, this is all speculation of course, as many of the details of the new Bronco Raptor are still unknown at the time of making this video, which is <coughs> 1.59 p.m. on Friday, October 22nd, 2021. Let's take it back a moment though and let's say that you have an OBS Bronco and you're looking for wheels or tires. What's gonna fit it? A quick search of the gallery is gonna net you a ton of results. However, you're most commonly gonna find 15 by 10s and 35 by 12 and a halfs because guess what? In 1995, that's what was cool. That's just the way it was. There are a few more prime examples of the newer build styles like this one, who's rocking a set of 20 by 12s and 35s, or this guy who's managed to put a set of 24 by 12 forces and 35 inch Gladiator tires on his Bronco. And of course, we couldn't talk about Broncos without at least acknowledging our resident Bronco expert, Jared, who's had not one, but two of them on some wicked wheel setups, and even went so far as his LS swapping his current white Bronco, and the last one was tooted. So, you know, hats off to you, buddy, for being the Bronco guy, I guess. Love him or hate him, the fact still remains that the Bronco has had a wild history full of ups and downs, and it still keeps coming back swinging. The OBS Broncos really were some of the most capable, best running SUVs at the time, and they really helped shape the history of the modern day trucks. And ultimately they fill that sweet little spot in so many of our hearts when it comes to trucks from our childhoods. Better yet, this new generation of Bronco ushers in a whole new opportunity for Ford to reclaim their title as the most capable off-road SUV on the market. And the Bronco Raptor gives us a reason to be just a little bit more excited about this rebirth than we were before. Now only time will tell how this one will shake out, but we're very excited to see what happens as we move forward. What do you guys think of the Bronco? Do you like the old ones better or are you on the wait list for a new one? Better yet, would you scoop a Bronco Raptor? Let us know down in the comments section below and as always, be sure to like the video, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dust with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Have a wonderful time. I'm gonna go back to watch.